Hey guys, Repairman here to repair your builds. Now I was gonna do an Ember build, but since Ember got killed and nerfed, I'm not gonna do it. Sorry guys. Just kidding. Ember's getting reworked because the build, the frame itself got reworked. So we're gonna make a build that will still work and do crazy numbers with Ember. Bring back Ember from the dead. Make Ember great again. <laughs> All right, so you got 280% range, max efficiency, and prime continuity to offset that transient fortitude and fleeting expertise. So your energy is just going to trickle, almost no energy usage. Now you're looking at the strength, like, whoa, that, that strength is pretty damn low. Well, keep in mind, one, you got energy conversion, brings another 50% up. Growling power brings another 25% up. Plus, as the ability is running, it's going to cut down on the range, cut it in half, so it's absolutely critical that you have all the range you can possibly get on it, because it's going to be cut in half. And the damage is going to get doubled, so it's not quite as critical. Now, the efficiency, energy drain, nothing's changing there, so you want to keep that the same. That's why that's the change. Now, arcanes, I changed what arcanes I use in a little bit, because arcane... Energy, Arcane Guardian is now actually a solid number base on there. So it is really phenomenal to use on squishy frames. Like Ember, for instance. It doesn't have a ton of armor. armor uh, Ember Prime has 125. I think regular, regular Ember has like double digits, uh, 50 or 25, some very small number of armor. I don't run it often. Um, not in this count at all, so don't have that memorized. Now, the Arcane Grace, as you don't have a whole bunch of HP, but uh, that'll complement the armor that you're getting to give you a little bit more survivability, even though you don't have any survival mods. Oh, that's the next best thing. Throw on Arcanes that'll give you some survivability, since Arcanes aren't going to give you more damage output with the Ember itself. And of course, we're going to use, just because it's Ember, <laughs> Fire Frame. Why not use the Ignis and the Atomos? The fire weapons to end all fire weapons. Ignis Wraith, of course, not the Ignis. Uh, if you don't have the Ignis Wraith, what are you doing with your life? Go get it. It's like two to five plat. I mean, it's it's literally that cheap. It's ridiculously cheap because certain certain uh, clans that happen to get a, to a certain tier have it in their dojo. They can buy for credits, so they literally spend a couple credits and get free plat essentially. Very cheap because there's a high supply and not probably not as high of a demand because everybody's trying to sell these like gangbusters. And sadly enough, there's not as many people trying to buy it. It is a phenomenal weapon, well worth getting. If you don't have it, get it. Your next mission should be to go get it. Like, right now. Like, pause this video, go get it. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Alright, so let's get into it. Let's get, uh, get your energy proc from getting an energy orb. So, you know, break some things, kill some enemies, get your proc before you cast it. I mean... If you're in an exterminate mission, you're probably not going to wait just because everything is so fast paced, you're moving. You do a lot less damage, so just cast it. Then, as soon as you get your own energy orb, then you just recast it. Not a big deal. But here, I want them to come in close. I don't want to have to go hunting and farming for that energy orb, so I'm just going to let them come on in. And I got my energy proc. Of course, they latch me right at the last second. They always do that, it never fails. <laughs> They just love doing that. All right, so now you see 0%. That means it's getting the full range, regular strength. Now, as it goes up, the range comes down. The efficiency, or actually, I forgot about that. The uh, efficiency is cut in half, or energy drain is doubled, however you want to look at that. Uh, so, but with the build we have here, it's going to get pretty much as low as it's going to get without totally neutering the build completely. And you should be doing some phenomenal damage. Ooh, shoot, we got a mag in here. Not sure if it's good. If it's good, Ember will not be able to compete. 
nineteen and a nine. Okay, so they have shitty mags. They should have been able to well out damage me. Excaliburs out doing the mags. That just goes to show you mass rank means nothing. Mass rank nineteen mag. Oh, and he's got a, wait, is that a health mod? Nine Yeah. He's oh wait, that was Mesa. I my mistake. It was the nine that had the mag. Gotta say, I'm like, what? That's rank 19. I mean, I, I see them all the time, so it's not that big of a surprise. Of course, Mesa is not a super phenomenal frame to bring this kind of mission. It's not super open. I mean, yeah, they're kind of open areas, but it's not phenomenal. The very best and all be all location for um, Mesa is Index. You bring a, a tank frame, you bring a Mesa, and shoot them on up. Though they're going to be coming out soon with the to PlayStation with the uh, Mesa augment that will allow you to move. It's essentially just like the Nyx augment mod, uh, uh, sim, uh, simulate, so that you can actually move, but at 50% speed, same thing. You move with Mesa at 50% speed, that's probably going to be a game changer. Be able to move around and shit actually. That that'd be pretty nice. Gotta change the build. Have to repost that when that comes up. But probably be posting a regular uh, Mesa build. Yeah, often with these kind of frames like Ember where I'm just melting them to butter. I usually just goof around, have fun. Either sometimes I'll shoot shit and sometimes I'll just shoot the shit talking. <laughs> uh, see what we're doing. Still some phenomenal numbers, just taking the numbers. Of course, damage taken. I've taken the most damage, and with that Arcane Energize, Arcane, uh, Ar um, but I Energize, Arcane Grace, Arcane Guardian set, no, no damage whatsoever taken on the frame itself. Well, that was Ember. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As you can see, melting nuke and stuff up, just destroying. Um, sure, it might not have quite the same range, but it can get pretty darn good if you get all that range put uh, put on there, like that 280%. And, of course, Accelerant, if you want to crank it up a notch, do even more damage with your fire weapons, your world on fire, the works. Till next time, you guys keep them form of cooking.